so coach uh, we are live now let me just uh, share the link so that people can join in on the conversation as we as we go by okay Perhaps as we wait for people to join, how has your stay in Kenya been like so far? I think it's uh, at least five months now, five to six months. Yes, five five months. I arrived in 10 January, around five months. Yeah. Five? How has your experience been so far? It's good. Uh, when people ask me about, uh, about this, uh, in my opinion, of course, is. Uh, one of the best countries in in Africa. I work in others, and for me, is the is the best one. The quality of the, the life in in Kenya is is good, especially of course in Nairobi because I live in Nairobi. But when I travel to to Kisumu or to Mombasa, I I love to. But uh, Nairobi is a very good city to to live. We have quality in our life. We can go outside. We have good uh, restaurants. We have shoppings, and we have parks. We have uh, we can do safaris, and uh, it's, a, it's a good country and, uh, and a good city. Nairobi is a good city. Tell me something about the weather, uh, especially the weather that you are having at the moment here in Nairobi. Is it something that you've <laughs> yes? Uh, no, in, in, in Ethiopia, uh, I, I work in Ethiopia, and, and in that time, I, I think it's similar. Uh, but in Ethiopia, there ran more than, than here. But uh, now it's a little bit cold. I know my players and the people in my staff, and the people I talk normally say for me, now they feel, they feel cold. But for me, it's not uh, it's not cold because the winter in Portugal is is more cold than this, and rain a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but the weather is is good. I, what what I feel, of course, I, I feel the difference between between, uh, for example, Nairobi and uh, special Mombasa when we play in Mombasa. And in Portugal, we have this. In Portugal, our winter uh, is more cold than now here and rain more. And our summer in Portugal is like Mombasa, uh, more than 30 degrees always, around 40. My city is, is very, very hot. Because of that, I don't feel big difference. Because for me, I have my summer is like when I'm in Mombasa or when I arrive here in January. And... Uh, yeah. And the winter is more cold than this because of that. I can use one small jacket and I'm okay. <laughs> okay, coach. I think uh, we are now ready to to start officially. Uh, okay. I want to welcome to to everyone who has already joined us. Yeah. Welcome to to another episode of Sports Three Hundred and Sixty. And today we'll be talking about uh, Kenya's most successful club. That is, of course, got my here. And who better to hear from than the coach himself? Uh, Carlos Manuel Vaspinto. Welcome so much, uh, Coach, to the program. Thank you, thank you. And in case uh, you have any comment, you have any observation, any question that you want to post to the coach, you can uh, send it in uh, on the comment box and I'll be sampling some of them as we go by. Uh, there's someone, Coach, I see wants us to keep with the Kenyan conversation and is asking you whether you, you already have a favorite Kenyan food. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I, I love, I love, I love uh, ugali. Uh, in okay. for example, we have something similar, but it's more soft, and I prefer uh, ugali than this in in Angola. And <laughs> and I love, I love the chicken. This chicken is more strong. It's kuku yeah. I think is the name, yeah. Yeah, can you? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's good, but especially ugali because I, mm -hmm. I like ugali. And the, 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 the way uh, here prepared meat, meat is similar to the way we prepare in, in Portugal because of that I don't feel big difference. Uh, a little bit more, more spice, more, more chili there, but uh, especially the ugali. Mm -hmm. For me, the ugali is better than what I eat uh, similar, for example, in, in Angola. 
Okay, coach. Let's just then get uh, right into it and start uh, the conversation. I think uh, you, you'll agree with me that you didn't have uh, the best start that you could have wished for uh, when you started uh, at Gormahia, both in the league and the continental assignments. But uh, we've seen after the restart, Gormahia is, is yet to lose a game. You've actually won seven out of seven in uh, all competitions. What will you tell us maybe the secret is? What is it that has changed for you and uh, your team? Yeah, when 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 I come, when I come already, the season starts. Yeah, and as a coach, it's always difficult when you don't start one season, because the pre-season is a, normally six, seven weeks, and these six, seven weeks, they are very important to introduce uh, in your team, in your players, your ideas, your philosophy, and of course prepare the team. Uh, to prepare to to play uh, with the uh, intensity like uh, you want but when i come of course already the, the season starts and some res the results are not good when i arrive here in kenya gormeya uh, had uh, I, I i think four uh, loses in a, in a row they lose four games in a row is a difficult moment for one club and players normally they, they they win and of course we need some time to to introduce the ideas and to work with uh, with the players in february we have the, the the window open and we can we can join two or three players to to give some characteristics that uh, in my opinion the, the squad in general don't have, and of course after that we have more time to 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 work to prepare players and uh, we we get better results than when start the, the season. Now we we won nine games in a row. You just talked about Sabi. Sorry. <laughs> You, you've talked about uh, when you came in, you needed the preseason. It's something that uh, you didn't get. Uh, you didn't get. So you are coming into a new environment. Uh, you are coming in to get a new set of players, and there are things like uh, language barriers. Will you maybe just walk us through how your first days or uh, weeks at Gulma here before you finally settle in? Yeah, uh, sorry, but the, the connection sometimes break, and I don't understand everything. No, oh, yeah, sorry. I, I'm saying I just want to, I just want to, uh, you to give us a picture of how uh, your first days at Gurumai here were, given that uh, you are coming into a new environment, a country that uh, you you have you hadn't worked in before, and uh, things like language barrier. How was it for you? It's, it's, it's important, of course, understand understand better the the the, the football in Kenya. I, I I know the football in Africa. I'm almost uh, 10 years uh, in Africa. I, I, I come to Africa in 2012. I have experience in, in two different leagues and now three. And uh, also in uh, Champions League and CAF Confederation Cup. But it's important when you, you, you start to work in another, another country, a new country, it's important to know the characteristics of his football or and the, the other coaches and the, the characteristics of, of your players like you say the environment is is different the language is different is important your staff sometimes maybe because my english is not is not uh, it's not good it's not perfect and is important to always sometimes uh, if it's more theory than practice is is important your staff translate very well for for your players the, your ideas but uh, as i say i have experience uh, in africa and uh, we I, I i think i i can manage this type of things uh, easy it was not difficult because uh, i feel always <laughs> a big commitment uh, with my staff and my my players and this was uh, very important for me in the first days and they believe in my my ideas but as you say the environment is different and the people around me is very important to, to introduce the, the, the special my my ideas in the team mm -hmm. uh, have you learned any kiswahili so far are there any words that can you communicate in actually which are some no, words you I, mean i know a few words i know a few words <laughs> but a few 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 words is impossible 
I, I start to listen, especially in training, some some words, but I can't uh, I can't communicate in, in Swahili, always in English. But in, in Kenya, mm -hmm. this is not a big issue. If, uh, for example, for me in Ethiopia is uh, is more difficult because they they have uh, like here they have the local language, but uh, few players can can speak English because of that. The people translate for me. The, the, the person translate for me. The, the what what I try to communicate with the players is is more important than here. But uh, I think uh, the communication at this time is very important for the coaches. Very important. Mm -hmm. Sure. And normally, uh, actually, let me let me bring you to. Normal. This is the big wall. We need to to broke to. Because because communication <laughs> is uh, is the detail to to achieve uh, good things in in one team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I wanted to to bring you a uh, focus not to, to tomorrow's game. You've qualified for for the semifinals of the FKF Battery Cup. Tomorrow you'll be having an opportunity to extend your winning uh, streak and also a chance to of qualifying for for the final. What's the plan tomorrow ahead of the Bitco game? Bitco have been pretty solid uh, this season. They've been promoted. They've come. What's the plan and expectations tomorrow in the semifinals? Uh, of course, we have one plan for for the game, but more important than this plan because this. One plan for for our game always have as, uh, we put there always the characteristics of the opponents, but more important than this is our idea about our game, what we need to do to to win the games, and because of that our focus is is our team, special our team. If you ask me the percentage between our, our focus in between our team and the other one. Always we put maybe 90% of, of our focus is for our team, for our game, for our model of game, uh, and 10% for the opponent. And uh, we don't have a lot of time to prepare this game because we played uh, against Sharks uh, on Thursday. And on Friday was the day to, to took the, the vaccine, the second job. And um, and only today we training only today. But uh, players they they need seventy two hours to recovery. Because of that, today is one training to recovery, not to to introduce different ideas. No, but we know Bitco they have uh, they have uh, good players and a good coach. They are a good team, and it's a tough game tomorrow, uh, like the others because. Uh, uh, Kenya, Kenya League is, is is different. Is one story is one different story because is is the cup. But Bitku is is in Premier League, and the teams in Premier League in Kenya they are they are always very competitive. And uh, tomorrow I expect one game like this very tough, but uh, I think we are ready to to fight to win. You are breaking a little bit, but uh, I think, uh, yeah, you are now back. I can uh, see you. Okay. Yeah. I want to, to get your sentiments. I want to, to get your sentiments on uh, the, you've been quoted by, you remember we are supposed to to be sending in our representative for the Cup Champions League next season. And uh, there's something you said about Gurumahia by virtue of being uh, the defending champions. You think that the people who are, they're the, the, the club that's supposed to be representing Kenya in uh, the next season's Cup Champions League. Tell us something about it. Yes, I, I listen a lot of things about it. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not lawyer. I'm. I'm coach. And uh, as a coach, of course, uh, what we want is uh, um, the representative team of the the country uh, be the champion in Champions League, be the champion. And of course, we. We want to uh, play full full league to to this. If it's not possible, uh, play the full league and and the champion go to the Champions League. I think uh, we need to, of course, follow the rules. And uh, as I said in other opportunities, my club follow the rules of FKF, uh, of course, because uh, it's our federation. 
and our federation follow the rules of CAF and CAF follow the rules of FIFA. And if it's like that, uh, everything is, is okay. But uh, I listen different uh, opinions, of course. I think federation have one opinion. I listen other opinions and and 30 June is, is very close. And I don't know if... Uh, if it's like that, because I'm not, I'm not a lawyer. I'm, I'm a coach, and uh, my focus is win all matches, and after that follow the rules, and and we will see what's happening in the future. Mm -hmm. I can see most junior is saying that uh, lovely coach came when God is experiencing a lot of problems. So far, he's doing well. Uh, what's his take on 30th June? I think that's the question that uh, you've just talked about right now about uh, the Cup Champions League. We've already addressed uh, that one. Uh, Coach, uh, we've been talking about uh, Gorma here, how you came in, how you've been, uh, how the experience so far in Kenya. I want us to double down a little bit and talk about how you, you got into coaching, where all this began. Can you just tell us briefly how this coaching uh, journey began? About, about, about uh, my first days in Gorma or in Kenya? No, generally, not even in Kenya, not even in Gormaya. How did you get into coaching now as, as a profession? Okay, I, I, I played, I played uh, 22 years. I was a player. And <laughs> my love about football starts when I am a kid. And uh, I play in different uh, leagues in Portugal. I, I was called to national team under 16. And I start to play when I have uh, when I had uh, twelve uh, ten years old, and I I finish my career when I have the thirty two years old. But I start uh, to be coach uh, when I am in uh, university because I I made my my degree in fit in fitness uh, physical education and my master degree in uh, in sports training. And in 1997, I, I did my first level of coach. And in uh, 1998, the second level. Uh, 2003, uh, 2011, the UEFA A. And 2013, UEFA Pro License. And I start to be coach uh, when I was player. I play in senior team and I teach the... I start in the under-19 to the team under-19. I, I, I teach the kids in my, my club. And after that, I go to under-13, under-15, under-19. And I was a technical director of one academy in Portugal, one big academy with one, about one club in Premier League. And after that, so the results uh, always are, are, are good and uh, invite me to when my former, my former technical director invite me to, to join in, in one club in, in Angola. And after that, I, I become professional uh, coach because between, between my degree in physical education and finish my career, always I, I teach in the school, I'm teacher. But after that, the, the results are always good in football and they invite me to be professional coach. It's a long story. <laughs> yeah, it's a long story, but uh, now we have a rough idea of where it all uh, began. And of course, uh, we know that you've had stints in Angola, in uh, Ethiopia, a very short one in Ghana, and now in, uh, in Kenya. I just want you to give us a, an honest assessment for what... I never work in Ghana. Yeah, can you hear? I am. No, no. Arts of Awok, they invite me last uh, October. I was <laughs> there uh, around one week, but we don't agree. We don't have uh, one agreement because of that. I don't join in the team. But today they, they announce I, I will be coach, but uh, we don't agree. But you're having a little bit of, uh, I think, network. You're breaking a little bit. I can change. Can you hear me well on your end? My date, maybe. Just a minute. Let's give the coach uh, some time to maybe. And now. 
I, I can I can hear you. I don't Hello? let's see if it will break again, but I can hear you well. Can you hear me? Can you hear me well on your end from here? Sorry. Can you hear me well? Yes, yes. Can you hear me? I listen, yes. I hear you. I heard you. Uh, uh, okay. Now, uh, I, wanted, uh, I wanted you maybe for to, to just give us an honest assessment uh, where Kenya Kenya football is, given now that uh, you've had since in Angola and uh, Ethiopia. Where do you really think we are uh, as far as football development is concerned? I, I don't feel big difference uh, about Angola only one because the the facilities to training they are a little bit better but uh, about the facilities to play for our matches in Kenya they are much better uh, especially here in Nairobi we have uh, good fields to to our matches about football what I feel the big difference for example between Kenya and uh, Ethiopia is the age of the players I I, I I think in Kenya we have better talents, better youth talents than than in Ethiopia. Ethiopia, the average of the players, the age is is more more big than in in Kenya. And I I look for the Kenya youth players uh, with uh, big confidence because I always uh, call some players to. Of our uh, under twenty to to work with us, and I feel the f our kids they have a lot of uh, quality. Because of that, uh, for me this is the big difference between, for example, Kenya and, and Ethiopia. But generally, players in Kenya they they have uh, good quality. Mm, what I feel in this moment is. Uh, difficult moment for the clubs in, in Kenya because of COVID maybe. Um, we don't have fans in, in our stadium and clubs don't uh, don't uh, don't have money, yes, because uh, the fans don't come to to the stadium and of course this is difficult. Manage one club in, in Kenya in this moment is very difficult for, for the chairmen, uh, not only for our <laughs> club, of course, is for all of them but uh, i feel that in my club and i feel that in other clubs in in kenya now is is a tough moment uh, about financial um but uh, generally what i feel is kenya have a good future in, in football because i i can see very good talents mm -hmm. nice Coach, when you are when you are not thinking about tactics, when you are not thinking about how you are going to to win the next game, uh, what is it will, that will find you doing during your free time? Normally, I I watch a lot of football, of course, and the news <laughs> about football in all world. I keep st studying. I need to start. I need to actualize my my knowledge because uh, always. Uh, every week, uh, every month, we have new studies about about football, and it's important to actualize um, this type of uh, ideas. And uh, I, I love music. I I listen a lot of music. I love uh, go out to to take uh, lunch or or dinner. Uh, sometimes I I go one time per week. Normally I I, I take my my dinner outside, and uh, I I do my my workout. I I walk or I run outside. Uh, normally, and I talk to to my family, my friends, of course, because uh, we are, we are far. The, but uh, normally, normally is my, my 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 hobby is my favorite hobby is read and listen music. 
What type of music do you listen to, coach? Special Africa, because now is <laughs> I'm 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 here since 2012, and I listen a lot of uh, music from Africa. The beat uh, from Africa now is always in my mm -hmm. in my mind. I love it. I love uh, the way people in Africa dance. I love it. And I can I can dance I can dance a bit. <laughs> uh -huh. um, but especially music music from from Africa. Mm -hmm. You've also mentioned something about uh, watching a lot of football. And uh, yesterday the Euro 2020 has started, and of course your country Portugal are the defending champions. I just want to ask you a quick one: Do you think you'll defend uh, the title this time round, or maybe there's another team you think can pip you to it? Uh, uh, we have an, a, a lot of uh, very good uh, national teams, but uh, Portugal, in my opinion, now we have more talent than in 2016. If we compare the team in 2016 with this team, now we have more talent. But in 2016, we, we can see one team. Uh, what I can, what I want to say about it is. We will see. The first game is always important in European champion, and after that we will see the way the team grow, because uh, because we have special in front now our our wingers and our midfields. We have a lot of uh, quality, and they and our our players they have uh, big experience. They they play in, in England, in Spain, in Italy. They play outside the country. We have a strong team, but we will see because our group is is a tough group. Germany and France, and uh, all, they are always strong teams. And uh, play the first game uh, in home of uh, Hungary is, I think, w will be a tough a tough game. And this is very important because I think some some of the best uh, uh, three on the table they they can they can they can go to the the next stage but uh, to 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 win this group is not easy because uh, france and the german they are there and also they have good players and, and good teams but i believe mm -hmm. of course i'm and i believe in my in my country I, I wanted to know, you've mentioned something about dancing and i'm sure a lot of Gurmaya fans will be following with keen interest and they want to know if uh uh, perhaps what, uh, what what should we be thinking? Can you can you uh, is it possible uh, for them to to have a fifth consecutive title this season? What do you think uh, are Gurmaya's chances of winning the league title this season, especially given the good run of form after the restart? Yeah, I th I think is I think it's possible. I think it's possible. Mm -hmm. I believe I believe, but uh, uh, my focus and the focus of player is uh, game by game. But I think is 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 possible. We have uh, uh, one game in our hand, and uh, of course we need to win. But if we win, we are very close, and everything is possible. Uh, four or five teams in, in this league can can win the league. Still can win the league. We have uh, five, fifteen games to play. Is all uh, all uh, second round because of that I I believe and I believe because uh, we grow the team now is more strong than than before but so we have a tough games so everything is possible but of course as a coach and the way the team the team grow I I believe we can we can be champion and we can we can win but but wake up uh, because of that we we work very hard and it's possible. I wish I wish our fans can can come to to the stadium to support the the team. We miss a lot. I know our fans; they support a lot our team, and they are very important for us. But I can feel the support they they give always. Uh, also, if they don't come to to the stadium, but uh, I wish uh, maybe this this month or next month. They they can they can come to to support the team and of course uh, we celebrate together when finish the league. Mm -hmm. 
coach as a, as a, as we, we wind up is there something that i haven't asked you that you haven't talked about and uh, you feel like you maybe need to to address it uh, sorry the connection break again you can you can repeat yeah, yeah. I'm saying uh, as we wind up, is there maybe something that uh, I haven't asked you or uh, we haven't talked about and uh, you feel like you need to address it? No, I think uh, I think we, we talk about uh, what is uh, mm, the most important is about, about my, my life, my, my club, my, my, my life in, in Kenya. Because of that, I think uh, we talk, uh, this, this conversation was, was very good. Yeah, and we've known that you love dancing, and uh, Ugali, has, Ugali is your yes favorite I, Kenyan uh, meal. Yes, and and skuma. Yes, always I join <laughs> to the Ugali, the, the skuma, <laughs> some some meat, <laughs> and I I with some chili, not like like the the Kenyan people, but I I put always some some chili. Now I'm mm -hmm. like a Kenyan and. <laughs> Oh, I know the, the some some of the culture, especially of the the Luo people. Yes, of course, because uh, my club, the foundations, the is, is is there. Because of that, I I know uh, a bit about the the culture of the the Luo people. <laughs> Coach, Coach, thank you so much for making time for us. Success in uh, your tomorrow's game and the remaining fixtures of, uh, of the season. Anytime when our circumstances and uh, your schedule allow, you're always welcome back uh, to the show. Thank you, thank you. And sorry about my, my English. is not, it's not perfect, but I, I try to give my best. <laughs> and all the, all the best for you. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone right. who tuned in. We'll uh, see you some other time with another episode of Sports 360. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.